students let us look at uh, some more properties of inverse trigonometric functions the first one among them is two tan inverses is equal to sin inverse of 2x divided by 1 plus x square when x is when x belongs to close interval minus 1 to 1 or we also write this as mod x less than or equal to 1 when I write mod x less than or equal to 1 its meaning is x is great, greater than or equal to minus 1 but less than or equal to plus 1 ok so now we shall prove this result proof I will consider this RHS I will choose RHS which is uh, sin inverse of 2x divided by 1 plus x square now I have to prove that sin inverse of 2x by 1 plus x square is equal to 2 tan inverse x for that I will make a substitution here that substitution is put x equal to tan theta so I am taking x as tan theta put x equal to tan theta this will imply by the definition of uh, tan inverse x when x equal to tan theta we can write theta is equal to tan inverse of x ok so I am substituting this here in this expression that will give us sin inverse of 2x in place of x I am writing tan theta so we get 2 tan theta divided by here we have 1 plus x square in place of x I am writing tan theta so that x square will become tan square theta ok that is equal to sin inverse of observe here 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta can be written as sin 2 theta this is a well known formula which we have learnt in our first basic that is we know that sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a cos a or it is also equal to 2 tan a divided by 1 plus tan square a this is a well known formula so I am using that formula that formula says sin 2a is equal to 2 tan a divided by 1 plus tan square a so here we have 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta this 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta can be written as sin 2 theta by using this formula so now sin inverse of sin 2 theta as we know sin inverse of sin y is equal to y so I can write sin inverse of sin 2 theta is equal to 2 theta now that is equal to what is theta theta is tan inverse x so this will become 2 tan inverse x which is our LHS we have started by considering the RHS sin inverse of 2x by 1 plus x square and we have proved that it is equal to 2 tan inverse x which is the LHS so from this we can write therefore 2 tan inverse x is equal to sin inverse of 2x divided by 1 plus x square ok so now you might be thinking sir then why do we need this why we are saying that x should lie in this interval if x lies in any other interval also why not this formula is correct ok I will give clarification for that see here I wrote sin inverse of sin 2 theta is equal to 2 theta the formula that we have learned is sin inverse of sin y is equal to y there is some restriction this is not equal to y not for all values of y this is equal to y sin inverse of sin y is equal to y only when y lies in this interval when y lies in the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 then only we can say sin inverse of sin y is equal to y so here I wrote that sin inverse of sin 2 theta is equal to 2 theta this can be written only if 2 theta lies in between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 so that is possible so this 2 theta should belong to minus
minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. 2 theta should lie in this interval, means theta should lie in the interval minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. I am dividing this inequality that interval by 2. Okay, so its meaning is theta is greater than or equal to minus pi by 4, less than or equal to pi by 4. What is theta? Theta, we have taken x equal to tan theta. So theta is equal to tan inverse x. So minus pi by 4 less than or equal to tan inverse x less than or equal to pi by 4. Tan inverse x should lie in between minus pi by 4 and plus pi by 4. That is possible only if x lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. If I take tan here, tan of minus pi by 4 which is minus 1 and tan of tan inverse x is x less than or equal to tan pi by 4 which is 1. So this will imply that x is greater than or equal to minus 1 less than or equal to plus 1. Okay, so what is the reason? Why when the x lies in between minus 1 and 1, then only this result is true. Okay. So now you can expect a one more question on this that is 2 tan inverse x equal to sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square. This result holds good for what values of x? Or it can also be asked that is for what value of x this equation holds good? or find the value of x such that 2 tan inverse x is equal to sin inverse of 2x by 1 plus x square. For that question, your answer should be closed interval minus 1 to 1 or you can also write mod x less than or equal to 1. Okay, let's go to the next result. is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square whenever x is greater than or equal to 0. We have to show that 2 tan inverse x is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square whenever x is positive, x should be greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So now, proof. Proof is very similar to the previous proof. Now also, I will consider this RHS, which is cos inverse of 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square. Now make a substitution. That substitution is tan theta, like what we did in the last case. Here also, I will put x equal to tan theta. When we make a substitution x equal to tan theta, then theta is equal to tan inverse x. So, this expression will become cos inverse of 1 minus x square in place of x, I am substituting tan theta. So, we get 1 minus tan square theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta x square x is tan theta so 1 plus tan square theta that is equal to cos inverse of okay 1 minus tan square theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta there is a well known formula for this which is cos 2 theta students should have learned this formula in first PLC which is cos 2a is equal to 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a. This is one of the formulae for cos 2a. Of course, there are other formulae also like cos 2a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a or it is also equal to 2 cos square a minus 1 or it is also equal to 1 minus 2 sin square a. These are the different formula that we have for cos 2a among them one of those formula is cos 2a is equal to 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a that formula I am going to use here 
which is 1 minus tan square over 1 plus tan square equal to cos 2a. So here we have 1 minus tan square theta over 1 plus tan square theta. I am writing that as a cos 2 theta. So now cos inverse of cos 2 theta. So I would like to use the formula cos inverse of cos y is equal to y. Again that result has its own restrictions that is cos inverse of cos y is equal to y. It's not true for all values of y. This is equal to y only when y lies in the closed interval 0 to pi. If y lies in this interval, then only we can write that cos inverse of cos y is equal to y. So here I would like to use write cos inverse of cos 2 theta as 2 theta. For that, let us cross check whether that 2 theta lies in our desired interval or not. Okay. See, what is x? Given that x is greater than or equal to 0, x is greater than or equal to 0. That x we have taken it as tan theta. Tan theta is greater than or equal to 0. Tan theta greater than or equal to 0 means theta is in the first quadrant. Okay. Tan theta greater than or equal to 0 implies theta is greater than or equal to 0 but less than pi by 2. Tan theta is greater than or equal to 0 means theta should lie in the first quadrant. First quadrant or in the third quadrant also as you know tan theta is positive in the first quadrant as well as in the third quadrant but here I am taking x equal to tan theta and theta is equal to tan inverse x. Its meaning is that this tan inverse x should lie in the open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 that means either in the fourth quadrant or in the first quadrant. So here theta tan theta is positive means it should be in the first quadrant. Theta is greater than or equal to 0 less than pi by 2. Now I want 2 theta. So multiply this inequality by 2. We get 0 less than or equal to 2 theta less than pi. 2 theta is greater than or equal to 0 less than pi. So 2 theta lies in this interval 0 to pi. Then we can write cos inverse of cos 2 theta as 2 theta. That's equal to what is theta? Tan inverse x. 2 tan inverse x. Okay, so we can say 2 tan inverse x is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square whenever x is greater than or equal to 0. Now, when it comes to the examination, when you are asked to prove this result, it's not necessary to write all these things. This I have explained just to, just to make you understand better. So, when it comes to the examination, so you can directly write, starting from here, you can directly write cos inverse of cos 2 theta as 2 theta, write all these things right till here. These steps are not essential. Just to make you understand, I have explained it. Now, even then, some students may get a doubt. So, here, here you are writing 2 theta greater than or equal to 0, less than pi. Whereas, here you are writing closed interval 0 to pi. That pi is not included here. If I write it in terms of interval here, we are going to get 0 to pi, closed at 0, open at pi, but here it is a closed interval 0 to pi. Okay. So, now this is a subset of this. This interval 0 to pi, closed at 0, open at pi is a subset of the closed interval 0 to pi. Pi. So, whatever the result that is true in this set must be true in any subset of it. Okay. After this, let's go to the next property. Third. Third result, 2 tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse of 
minus of 2x divided by 1 minus x square if x is greater than minus 1 less than 1. In other words, x belongs to open interval minus 1 to 1. Okay. Proof. This is very similar to the proof is very similar to the earlier two proofs. Here also we shall consider that RHS. The RHS is uh, tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square. Now also I will make the same substitution. Make the same substitution that is put x equal to tan theta. When you put x equal to tan theta, theta is equal to tan inverse of x. So this expression will become tan inverse of 2 tan theta. In place of x, I am writing tan theta. So we get 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta. 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta that is equal to tan 2 theta. You know the formula for tan 2 a. I will write here tan 2 a is equal to 2 tan a divided by 1 minus tan square a. This is a well known formula. We have learned this in first year trigonometry. So here 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta. I can write that as tan 2, 2 theta. So now tan inverse of tan 2 theta. Tan inverse of tan 2 theta is equal to 2 theta. As you know tan inverse of tan y is equal to y. So this is equal to 2 into theta. Theta, what is theta? Tan inverse x. Okay, see I said that tan inverse of tan y equal to y. Again, it is true only when y belongs to open interval 0 to sorry, open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Tan inverse of tan y is equal to y provided y lies in this interval. So here I directly wrote tan inverse of tan 2 theta is equal to 2 theta. Then this 2 theta should lie in that interval. That we shall cross check now. Given that x is greater than minus 1 less than 1. Okay. So for this inequality, I will apply tan inverse. Apply tan inverse to this inequality. That will give you tan inverse of minus 1 less than tan inverse x less than tan inverse 1. Tan inverse of minus 1 as we already know which is minus 5 by 4 less than tan inverse x. I will keep it as it is. Tan inverse 1 is pi by 4. What is tan inverse x? Tan inverse x is nothing but theta. So, minus pi by 4 is less than theta less than pi by 4. I am replacing tan inverse x with the theta. Now, I will multiply this inequality by 2 because I want to know where does 2 theta lie. 2 theta lies in which interval? That is what we want to know. So, I am multiplying this inequality by 2. Whenever you are multiplying by any positive quantity, the inequality remains the same. If you are multiplying or dividing by a negative quantity, when you are multiplying by a negative quantity, the inequality gets reversed. So now, since I am multiplying by 2, inequality remains as it is. So when I multiply by 2, this will become minus pi by 2, less than 2 theta, less than pi by 2. So we can see that 2 theta lies in between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 which means 2 theta lies in this interval. Therefore, we can use tan inverse of tan y equal to y. So 2 theta that means we get 2 tan inverse x. So we can write 2 tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse of 2x divided by 1 minus x square provided x belongs to open interval minus 1 to 1. Okay. So, so far we have discussed some of the properties of inverse trigonometric functions. Now, we shall use those properties in solving few problems.
ครูทั้งสองคนี้ first problem three sine inverse x is equal to sine inverse of three sine inverse x is equal to sine inverse of three x minus four x cube when x belongs to closed interval minus one by two to plus one by two. So we are asked to prove this. Sin of three sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse of three x minus four x cube. Whenever x lies in the closed interval minus one by two to plus one by two. Okay. So I would prefer this RHS. Take the RHS. Sin inverse of three x minus four x cube. To solve this problem, I will make a substitution. As put x equal to sin theta. Okay. Now you might be thinking, sir, in the earlier proofs, in the previous three proofs, you have taken x equal to tan theta, and all of a sudden, now for this problem, you are taking x equal to sin theta. Why it is so? So there is a reason behind it. Look at what we have: three x sin inverse of three x minus four x cube. If I take sin theta, then this will become. 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta. 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta. For that we have a well-known formula. 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta is equal to sin of 3 theta. That formula we have. With that intention, by keeping that in mind, I am making the substitution. However, if I take x equal to tan theta, then what happens? Then we get. 3 tan theta minus 4 tan cube theta. 3 tan theta minus 4 tan cube theta. As such, there is no formula for that. 3 tan theta minus 4 tan cube theta cannot be further simplified. So there is no use by taking x equal to tan theta. Therefore, I go for x equal to sin theta. So if I take x equal to sin theta, that will imply that theta is equal to sin inverse. So now this equation will become sine inverse of 3x x is sine theta minus 4x cube that will become sine cube theta which is equal to sine inverse of 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta will give you sine 3 theta sine inverse of sine 3 theta. Sin inverse of sin three theta is equal to three theta. See again, whenever we come across such results, that is, sin inverse of sin y is equal to y, we must always check whether that y lies in our desired interval or not. In this case, the desired interval is closed interval minus pi by two to pi by two. So before we write in this as three theta, we have to ensure whether three theta lies in between minus pi by two to pi by two or not. Okay. For that, how to check it? So you have taken x equal to sine theta, and it is given that uh, x is in between. X is greater than or equal to minus one by two, less than or equal to one by two. X belongs to this closed interval which is given. Okay, so now I will apply sine inverse to this. Applying sine inverse to this inequality, we get sine inverse of minus one by two less than or equal to sine inverse x less than or equal to sine inverse of one by two. Okay, sine inverse of minus one by two is equal to minus pi by six. Sine inverse x can be written as theta less than or equal to sine inverse of one by two. Sine inverse of one by two is pi by six. We want to know where does three theta lie. So we got the interval where theta lies. Now we want to know where does three theta lie. So what do we do? Yes, you are right. Multiply this inequality by three. When we multiply by three, inequality remains as it is. So we get minus pi by two less than or equal to three 
theta less than or equal to 5 by 2. So, 3 theta lies in between minus 5 by 2 to 5 by 2, which is our desired interval. Therefore, I can write sin inverse of sin 3 theta as 3 theta. Then, what is theta? Theta is nothing but sin inverse x. So, we got sin inverse x. So, we got the result what we want. We want this 3 sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse of 3x minus 4x cube. This is true when x lies in the closed interval minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2. This is the proof. Again, when this question is asked in the exam, it is not necessary to write all these things. This much is not necessary from the exam's point of view. Just to make you understand better that given that, you can directly write this much. Okay, let's look at the next question. Three cos inverse x is equal to three cos inverse x is equal to cos inverse of four x cube minus three x. Three cos inverse x is equal to cos inverse of four x cube minus three x. Whenever x belongs to closed interval one by two to one. When x lies in the closed interval one by two to one, we will show that. 3 cos inverse x is equal to cos inverse of 4x cube minus 3x. This property, this uh, result is very similar to the previous result. So, I will give the proof for you only just by giving a hint. So, here you put x equal to cos theta and proceed, you will get the answer. Okay. Then, let us look at the next question, next problem. Here put x equal to cos theta and proceed. Similar to the previous problem, you should be able to do it. Next question. Prove that tan inverse 2 by 11, tan inverse 2 by 11 plus tan inverse of 7 by 24 is equal to tan inverse of 1 by 2. We are asked to prove this result. I take this LHS. LHS is uh, tan inverse of 2 by 11 plus tan inverse of 7 by 24. This is equal. Here, I would like to use this formula. Already, I have proved this result which is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus xy whenever xy is less than 1. So, here we shall use the same formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Here also x into y 2 by 11 into 7 by 24 clearly it is less than 1. So, you can use that formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y that is 2 by 11 plus 7 by 24 divided by 1 minus xy, xy, x is 2 by 11, y is 7 by 24, that is equal to, let us take LCM here, tan inverse of 11 into 24, 24 into 10 is 240, add another 24, which is 264 here, here 24 into 2, 48 here, plus 11 into 7, 77 divided by here also 2, 24 into 11 which is 264 that's the here it will be 264 minus 2 into 7 which is 40. So this 264 gets cancelled we will have tan inverse of 48 plus 77 which is equal to 125, 48 plus 77, 125, divided by 264 minus 14, that is equal to 250, that is equal to tan inverse of 125 by 250, which is equal to 1 by 2, tan
an inverse of 1 by 2. That is what we are asked to calculate. Let's go to the next question. Prove that tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse of 1 by 3 is equal to pi by 4. Prove that tan inverse of 1 by 2 plus tan inverse of 1 by 3 is equal to pi by 4. So, I will take this LHS tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 3. Here also, I would like to use the formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus xy provided the product x and y is less than 1. Here x and y 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 that is 1 by 6 which is less than 1. So, I can use that formula that will give you tan inverse of x plus y which means 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 divided by 1 minus x into y 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 that will give you tan inverse of take LCM here 6 is the LCM numerator will be 3 plus 2 which is 5 denominator also 6 is the LCM 6 minus 1 5 by 6 5 by 6 that gets cancelled so you have tan inverse of 1 tan inverse of 1 is equal to pi by 4. Okay. After that, let's go to the next problem. Prove that 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 is equal to tan inverse of 31 by 70. You have to show that 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 is equal to tan inverse of 31 by 70. Okay. So, I will choose this LHS 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 7. Look at the first term. 2 tan inverse 1 by 2. 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 we have. For that, I would like to use this formula for 2 tan inverse x. 2 tan inverse x, I have given you 3 formula for 2 tan inverse x. One of them is sin inverse of 2x by 1 plus x square. Then it's also equal to cos inverse of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square. It's also equal to tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square. So in this, if uh, mod x less than or equal to 1, here when x greater than or equal to 0, here when uh, x is uh, in between minus 1 and plus 1. Operator. Okay. So now, among these three, which formula should we use for this particular problem? For this problem, we must use this formula. That is, 2 tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square. Why should we use this formula only? It is because, see our aim is to show that this sum is equal to tan inverse of 31 by 70. Okay, and here the second term is in terms of tan inverse. First term, if I write this also in terms of tan inverse, then we can go for tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. That formula is available. We can use that formula and get the result. If I write, if I use that first formula here in terms of sin inverse, if I write this in terms of sin inverse, after that in the next step, we will have sin inverse plus tan inverse. There is no such formula as of now. We don't know any formula about sin inverse x plus tan inverse y. The same problem occurs if I use this formula also. That is, this expression will be in terms of cos inverse and this will be in terms of tan inverse. We don't know any formula of about uh, cos inverse x plus tan inverse y. So, with that reason, I prefer this formula. Okay. 
So if I use that formula, we are going to get tan inverse of 2x, 2x, x is 1 by 2, divided by 1 minus x squared, 1 by 2 x whole square, plus tan inverse 1 by 7, retain this term as it is. That's equal to tan inverse of, here 2, 2 gets cancelled, we have 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 plus tan inverse 1 by 7. That's equal to tan inverse of 1 minus 1 by 4 will give you 3 by 4. 1 divided by 3 by 4 can be written as 4 by 3 plus tan inverse of 1 by 7. Oh. So now it is of the form tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus x y whenever the product x into y is less than 1. x into y 4 by 3 into 1 by 7 which is clearly less than 1. So we can use that formula tan inverse of x plus y. x is 4 by 3 y is 1 by 7 divided by 1 minus x into 1 4 by 3 into 1 by 7 that's equal to tan inverse of take LCM here 3 into 7 21 is the LCM numerator will be 28 plus 3 divided by here also 21 is the LCM numerator will become 21 minus 4 that's equal to tan inverse of 21, 21 gets cancelled. Numerator is 28 plus 3 which is 31. Denominator 21 minus 4 that is 17. So we got tan inverse of 31 by 17. That is precisely what we want.